I want to wish all the mothers a happy Mother's Day. Join me as I show you how I spend my Mother's Day. And I went and catch up with my mom. I took her out for dinner and we spent some time with her. And then I catch up with some amazing YouTubers. So stay tuned for that. And I hope you guys enjoy this. And I hope all the mothers had a fabulous and blessed day. And I'm having a coconut water. They gotta go park. How are you? I'm good, I show you. Oh my god. So nice meeting you. Sorry, where Ricky there? Ricky there, right? Hey, close. Ricky there, right? Hey, I am. Very big man, after you go, man. Oh, good. Hey guys. <laughs> the two I... best cook. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, finally you made me. Oh my god. Uh, look. look in the back of you then. Oh. Uh, oh <laughs> hey, how are you? Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Finally. Finally, and first time with your husband. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Watch my hard walking picnic come home. What is that? Favorite. Ah! I see how my picnic kill me slowly. He bought me my favorite. What is this? My Mother's Day gift? Huh? My Mother's Day gift? Yeah. That's all. Cause show them how you must spend your Mother's Day. So this is how I'm spending my Mother's Day. Two big chocolate dairy milk. So for my birthday, I can send my dairy milk. We, our Heineken, Trevor drink the Heineken, lay down in the hammock with the blanket and relax and suck in nature and get the tan on. This is my view guys. I lay down, cover up with my blanket in this hot sun in the hammock and enjoying nature sucking in nature enjoying the best of nature the best way to spend mother's day in my opinion every day is mother's day and you know today i am just relaxing <laughs> and mr jing we got a little boom box to play a little music there and that's it that's mother's day Atiana was here. She went up, went upstairs. That's Mr. Jingri Lil Hammock. Hammock. Na hammock. Hammock. That's it, guys. This is how this by enjoy Mother's Day. Grab your high Nikki and grab it. Cheers. Cheers. We don't have one cheers big thing to all from. The mothers. Yes, cheers to all the mothers. Put on your sunshade and hat. Hey, rub my foot. Rub my foot there. You don't need to I rub keep, it to their cover up. I can't find my foot. Get to it. Show these guys how to take care of your wife. That's right. Massage my foot, my slave. <laughs> Justin, oh Justin, I'll take that one. <laughs> Hello, my loves welcome back to cooking with ash i want to give big shout out to trisha ariana she was the one that requested this recipe and it's some delicious corn dog one of atiana's favorite thank you so much my love for all your love and support on the channel it means so much to us and sorry i took forever to get this recipe done for you but this one is dedicated to you so big up yourself love so let's get into the kitchen and let me show you step by step and how 
how to prepare some delicious corn dog. These are going to be a hit with the kids and perfect for summer. For those summer little parties that you're going to be having outdoors, perfect, perfect recipe for you guys. So let's get cooking. These are the ingredients I will be using to prepare our corn dog. I'm using here some plain all-purpose flour. I have here some cornstarch, some baking powder, salt, cornmeal and I'm using the finer grain cornmeal. I have some brown sugar and I'm using four hot dogs that I'm going to go ahead and cut them into. So we're pretty much making mini corn dogs and I have here some plain um, regular whole milk. So let's put this together. I'm going to go ahead and transfer everything that I have in this plate into this cup and we're going to proceed to mix it. And do bear in mind, everything I'm using will be listed in the description box below for your convenience. I'm gonna go in with a whisk here and blend everything in nicely. You wanna make sure everything is mixed in. It cannot be me if I didn't forget to mention we're using an egg here. So I'm gonna go ahead and crack this egg in. I'm going to proceed to add my milk. But what I would advise you guys to do is to gradually add your milk here and incorporate it. Don't add all at once because do bear in mind every one flour texture absorb liquid differently and you just want a perfect batter. You don't want a too runny batter or a too um, stiff batter. It has to be perfect enough to stick to the hot dog. So this is why I'm saying to, you know, gradually add your milk mixture here. So we have everything nice and mixed in here and this is the consistency we're looking for. A little bit thicker than a pancake batter consistency. So I'll show you how you know it's the right consistency when I grab the hot, the hot dog. But everything is nice and smooth and mixed in here. Here I have some wooden skewers that I went ahead and soak. Why I soak it? So when we fry it, it's not going to burn. You know, the, the, the skewer is not going to burn up. So this is why I, I recommend, you know, soak them. So I went ahead and cut my hot dogs in two. You wanna make sure you take a dry piece of paper towel and dry this completely. Because if you don't dry it completely, the batter is not gonna hold on to it really well. And I cut my skewers them in two half because they were too long. And you just wanna insert it like so. And we're gonna repeat the process for all of them. If you want to shorten the skewer, you can go ahead and do that too. But you need like a grip to hold, you know. And another thing you can do too to make sure these are completely dry and the batter would hold on is to put some dry flour from it if you're having a hard time for the batter to hold on to the, the um, hot dogs. Here we have our oil heating up and I'm reusing some canola oil that I used before. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, as you can see, this cup is deep. You would want to put it in something deep that you, the whole hot dog can cover completely. So you can either tilt it to the side and roll it in it, or you can grab a glass and just dock it in. You know, anything that is um, deep and nice, you want to do it. You want to make sure you get something deep and nice. So as you can see, I roll the hot dog into the mixture and it's holding on nicely onto the hot dog. So that's what you're looking for. If it's falling off and running off and it's not coating the dog, that means, you know, your batter needs a little bit more flour and you can go ahead and add a little bit more flour to it. So I'm going to go ahead and start doing these, rolling them and dropping them into my hot oil. And you want to work as quickly as you can, but you can see I'm working as slow as I can here. I don't want too much batter. I want a nice coating on it. So we're going to go ahead and quickly, you know, turn those over. Rotate it. You want to get a nice golden brown color and remove it from the oil. So this one is about finished. I'm going to go ahead and remove that one out. And that little splishy splashy that you're hearing, it's from the skewers. So that's why I said to make sure you dry your skewers them out completely. So I'm going to finish these bad boys up. Then I'm going to come back and have little Missy taste test for you guys. We have a taste tester. We have an eager little girl here waiting to taste this. And she love mommy corn dog. She is a corn dog, corn dog kind of girl. 
So this is what our corn dog is looking like. So delish and so beautiful. Look how nice that batter look in it. It's not too much overwhelming with batter and that juicy, juicy, juicy. Are you dipping in it in anything or are you just going in for the bite? I'm gonna try it plain first. Okay, go ahead. Oh. Remember to skewer. Mmm. That's so light and crispy and soft. So light, crispy, and soft. The perfect um, explanation for a nice corn dog batter. So good. Mom, you know what? You didn't learn your lesson yet. You need to make them more than lunch. <laughs> you have so many to eat. You're the oh, corn. Oh, uh, sorry. You need to make them more than a thousand times. <laughs> so is it a yay or nay? Mmm. It's delicious or not? Delicious. Would you tell them to make it? Mm hmm So they should try it, right? Mm hmm So there you have it, Trisha Ariana, my love. This recipe is for you. Say hi to Auntie Trisha Ariana. Her son loves a lot of food um, that you love. You guys have a lot of foods in common. So say hi to her and her son. Bye. Hi, Auntie. You, you didn't say hi to her? Oh, sorry. Hi. Auntie Trisha Auntie Tresha. And her son. And her son. Give them big kisses and thank them for being on our channel. Mwah. Thank you for being on my channel. Want one? <laughs> that one is for you guys. Mm -hmm. So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for joining us. And I hope you guys enjoy this recipe as much as we do. Look, Atiana bun that one. She was trying to fry it. <laughs> But there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for your love and support. I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. See you soon with another delicious recipe. Take care. Bye. Bye.